Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, we're going back to the Berlin picture here. Oh, sorry. If you're new here, my name is Stacy. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. <laughs> we're going back to the Berlin one. Um, so I did work on this a little bit. Um, I think the last time that you saw this, we had done down here at this uh, graffiti on the wall here and this bottom part here. So since then, I've done a little bit in the buildings, but not much. I'm kind of bouncing around. Um, you know, like I said in my last video, I haven't had a lot of time to um, diamond paint. So I'm getting a little bit done here and there. Um, so we're gonna work on this today. And if you hear the mower outside, it's my husband. He is uh, starting to mow the lawn. Um, so I do have the window open. Um, I'm just gonna grab a color here. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with this color here and just work a little bit in here. Um, I'm not gonna zoom in just because I'm I'm probably gonna be bouncing around. But, yeah, so you guys know how I do this, you know, I kind of, I kind of just bounce around and just enjoy the process, you know what I mean? So, so how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I actually just got off work, um, and it was a rough day, only because um, I was doing something that um, I hadn't done before so I've been um, working uh, this new job in a grocery store in the bakery for um, uh, about two months now and um, maybe a little bit over or no no just about two months and um, I really really like it it is tough um, in the sense of um, you are always always on the go right there's like no stopping so there's a lot to do and um, you know you're you're definitely very busy very busy which is good I don't mind it because it makes the time go back go fast go by fast so I don't mind it at all I got another one stuck on here um, however, I was doing something today that I hadn't done before. I'm learning um, uh, new stuff so that when my boss goes on vacation, I can help out um, doing what she what she does, which is um, basically, um, you know, like so. Typically, what I do is I will go in early in the morning and I will you know decorate all the donuts and get those out and then I package up <clears throat> excuse me package up like the fresh breads and stuff like that that's baked that's typically what I do whereas my boss um, and the assistant manager so the manager and the assistant manager both uh, wind up doing the stuff that comes in from vendors from um, like a lot of the stuff from the bakery comes in frozen and then we you know put it out on the shelf so um, they typically do all of that so I was doing that for basically the first time today um, I've done a little bit of it before but not a full shift and um, so it was a very, very chaotic day and um, I did not accomplish everything that needed to be accomplished, but the store manager is on us for overtime, on the whole store for overtime. So, um, you know, I did what I could and had to leave um, with no over well I had three hours over time but not today I had it earlier in the week so um, I definitely had to go go home so you know I did what I could it's 
it bothers me because um, I really don't like to leave stuff at work incomplete but there was nothing I could do you know just learning it um, trying to learn it and do it for the first time all on my own was a lot and so it was really kind of um, kind of frustrating and nerve-wracking all at the same time but um, you know I got to learn somehow, right? <laughs> got to learn somehow. So, you know, it 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 kind of sucks in a, in a sense because we get graded on how much stuff um, gets put out. We're supposed to put out a certain amount of items every single day, and that's for not just the immediate time frame, but for for the whole day right so that we can replenish later in the day and stuff like that um and so you have like a certain amount of items that need to go out and they won't go out on the shelf right away most times they will go out you know throughout the day but they get pulled and placed in an area to where it's easier to just grab them and refill, replenish. Um, they had me do it a little bit different than the way that my boss does it. Um, they wanted to do it, they wanted us to try a different way of doing it and I don't know, I trying it a little bit different and then also having me first time doing it was probably not the best um, course of action but I did the best I could and my store manager you know wasn't disappointed in me but was not particularly happy that we didn't get nearly as much done that we should have but you know what it is what it is and I'm bummed out a little bit about it but I can't I, you know I can't harp on it um, it's my first time doing it I gotta I have to learn how to cut myself some slack I'm very very hard on myself and I have to learn not to be that way but it's so difficult because you know you want to do a good job and you want to make sure that you know you want to, you know, you just want to do a good job. You want to, you want to feel like you left and accomplished something. And I mean, I guess I did in a way, I guess I, I can look at it that way. You know, I kept the, what we call the holes filled as much as possible today. Um, but it just, just didn't seem like enough, you know? And so... I have to I have to learn how to, to go easier on myself because there's only so much I can do anybody can do and my boss and the assistant manager can't even get it done in eight hours so I don't know why I was thinking that I could or was hoping that I could because I don't know I guess like I said I, I just put too much on myself sometimes so in any event, I did what I could and it didn't look too bad when I left, but you know, it's going to look bad in the morning because we're not going to have anything to have the, the shelves stocked in the morning. So it's going to be not good. You know, my boss is not going to be, she's going to be stressed out, but it is what it is and you know like I said I did what I could and my store manager realizes that and knows that my assistant store manager was helping me and realizes and knows that so I gotta just you know relax I'm sure you guys have gone through that too you know where you just you wanna you wanna do the as best as you can and it, it's just kind of sad 
to yourself inside. It's just kind of sad when you when you can't accomplish what you want to. But there's always tomorrow. There's always another day. So I got to remember that. <laughs> got to remember to not kick myself too hard, you know? So, yeah. So that was my day. Um, and then, you know, I'm back in at... I'm recording this right now. Um, so you'll see this later on tonight, obviously. But I'm recording this right now. It's about... What time is it? It's a little after 3, like quarter after 3 p.m. I just got home. And uh, so... Um, you know, I did what I could. I have to be back in, um, in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning to, uh, back to my old duties as, you know, doing the donuts and stuff like that. They did, they did finally start changing my hours to 20 hours a week, which I think I, I mentioned to you guys last week. So, um, but I'm sure that it's not going to hold to that I'll I'm sure I'll get more hours than just the 20 because my boss is already not happy with um, only allowing you know not having enough hours for the department so I'm sure that something will come up and I'll get more hours than just the 20 but we'll see we'll see what happens you know um, as of right now, I do have Memorial Day off, but um, I, I'm i pretty sure that's going to change. I'm, I'm, yeah, pretty sure that's going to change because that's the thing. Like, they want, they want, um, they do this to, to everybody. Um, so it's, it's kind of weird in my opinion about how they schedule um, they schedule the assistant store managers schedule the departments rather than the department managers so they do the scheduling and then the department manager kind of puts their two cents in of you know well I need this person there or whatever they ch they try to work together but the final say is the assistant store manager of how the schedule is so um, and the way that they have it scheduled right now is that I am not working on Monday however um, they have it so that my boss will be doing the donuts and all the packaging and all of the freezer stuff which is impossible for one person to do um, but I say that and They've got me scheduled doing that when my boss goes on vacation. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to work out. And all I can do is just do my best, right? You can only do what you can do. And I think they put, um, uh, they, well, I know they put a lot of pressure on everybody because they, you know, it's the same everywhere you go where they always want you to do more than what is your job title so but with all that said I really do like the job I really do enjoy working there um, and the jobs that I do so I just you know just got to get better at it which is fine but it's frustrating too. <laughs> it's fine, but it's frustrating at the same time. But, you know, I'm having fun with it. Um, I am tired a lot though, because like I said, I am working, you know, a lot harder than my past jobs, obviously. And because when I was doing caregiving overnight, you really, you know, you're there for overnight, but you're really only working like four hours out of the night. And, you know, the job before that, being a supervisor, it was more paperwork and stuff like that. It wasn't as physical. 
So it's been quite some years since I've done like a lot like heavy physical full eight hours physical um, so I am like so tired all the time I haven't played video games very much I haven't played uh, diamond painted very much or any other kind of crafts which I love I haven't done any of that really I get you know so I'm hoping that it will all kind of balance out and you know and I know I'll get to a point where it'll balance out and I will be able to do all the things I love as well as that but for right now since it's all so fresh and new it's it's a little bit difficult to do it so but I'll get there, right? I gotta. I just gotta keep saying that over and over in my head. I'll get there. Don't worry about it. I'll get there. You know. So. Yeah. So that's what's been going on with me. I'm trying to find a way to get all of this. You know. Um, to kind of match up and you know balance out this uh you know my crafting life my home life and my and my work life i'm trying to get it to all balance out and right now i'm struggling a little bit but i will i'll figure it out <clears throat> i am rambling a lot huh <laughs> i'm rambling but you know it's good that i have a positive outlook on it rather than um you know just being frustrated and upset and you know whatever it may be um, I'm glad that I'm staying positive and that I'm not doing too bad you know uh, mentally so that's that's good I'm glad you know that I'm not wearing myself out that way because sometimes you know, it does uh, take a toll on you men mentally, and I'm I'm not feeling that yet. I mean, I, I'm feeling it in moments, but not a constant, if that makes sense. So, I feel like that is a win right there, the fact that I am doing better that way. So, that makes it, that makes it all so much better, and so much um, more, uh, I don't, I, like tolerable is going through my head, but that's not the word that I want to use. Just, um, I don't know, more manageable, I guess. Makes it a little easier keeping a positive attitude. So I'm trying to do that and I'm, I, I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm doing so, as much as stress as I had today, I feel like I'm doing all right. So, we'll get there. You know, we'll get there. This is a pretty color. It's like a pink. It's like a pink color. And... I think I, yeah it's pretty I think in the scope of this building it's gonna look really neat when you have like the darker colors around it once I fill in the windows and stuff because the windows are what color is that 154 so that's like what a purplish color it's this color here it's like a dark purple so that's gonna look nice with this pink gonna look nice with the pink I'm trying to use every last drill in my thing uh, so how's everybody doing I, I you know is everybody doing okay everybody's having you know good lives so to speak right everybody's doing okay I really hope so Oh my goodness, 
bag was like being weird. It wouldn't let me pour them out. Yeah, so. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. You know, I always start these videos. And I, you know, I start talking and I get through what I, you know, what was on my mind for the moment. And then I'm lost. And then I always tell myself, well, you should write down a list of stuff to talk about. And I never do. But maybe I should. <laughs> As I say that again. And probably won't do it. Because I, you know, I kind of like to... Um, I don't know. I just, I just want to diamond paint with you guys. So I don't really, but I really should kind of try and structure it better. Huh? It'll be all right though. That's what I'm telling myself all the time. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. We've only been doing this one color today. Huh? Because there's a lot of it in these buildings. But that's okay. They're coming along. Nice. I think this is going to be really cool when it's done. Um, I, I really do like the, the quote-unquote cityscape of this. I think it looks nice. I think the colors so far are nice in that in it. So I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. And I can't remember where I got this from. Was it AliExpress? I can't remember. No. Well maybe it was AliExpress. I'm not sure. I can't remember where I got it from. But I do like it. The drills seem to be pretty good. I don't have a lot of trash so far, um, which is nice. They do have the dimples on the bottom. So some of them, um, some of them don't stick as well. But it's not too bad. I don't have a lot of trash. Like, I, I say that again because I looked over at my little trash seashell. I have a little seashell that I put all my trash in. And the trash that I have in there is from um, the red-eared slider that I was working on before. So, don't really have much from this. But I do know that I threw it out, too. I emptied it. Um, but I still don't recall having a lot of trash on this, on this canvas so far. And I think the, because it's getting warmer out, um, my, uh, like I went through the putty that I was using. So now I'm just using kind of like a, a wall tack right now, um, that you can get at the dollar store or whatever. I'm just using that. Like, I don't have the actual backing for it anymore, but it is just like, you know, that, that wall putty. So I've just been using that. And, um, it works. It works, but with the temperature change, um, sometimes it's a little bit more gooey than I like, but it's working. I have any more, any more of this color? Hmm, yeah, down here I do. A few more down here. I thought I put one there, did I not? Oh, do I have just the right amount in my tray? It looks like I do. I might have missed some somewhere, but I don't think so. Yeah, I've got two right there. Two. I, 
I think I might have asked this before, but do any of you guys out there um, play video games? And if you do, what games are you playing? Um, I started recently, I bought um, Graveyard Keeper on PC, and I'm really enjoying that. It is a very, very grindy game, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun doing it. But I'm interested, if you guys are playing video games, what games are you playing currently, if any at all? Or do you have time? Do you not have time for it? Um, I bought it recently, Graveyard Keeper, and I've been playing it um, just here and there. Don't have a lot of, excuse me, a lot of hours into it, but, you know. Let's see, should I start another color? We're at 25 minutes on my video here. Mm, I could do a little bit more. I could do a little bit. Let's grab, the, let's grab this color here and do a little bit of that. That's kind of like a pale, like a peach maybe, or a very, very pale pink maybe. It's almost like a looks white almost next to these other colors but it's not when you look at it in the bag it's like a like a little bit peachy but yeah it looks almost white on there but it's not it's peachy if you can see that it's uh what color is it it's 948 is the color if you're interested looks nice though I really do like this I think this looks I think this looks cool I don't know how the sky is gonna look um you know, there is some color blocking up there. Um, and then, like, this, these silhouettes back here are all that dark purple. It's funny because there's no, um, there's no black in this canvas. It's all, a, all the dark is um, a dark purple. So, and that's probably because it's, you know, um, sundown time so that's probably why they chose the dark purple and not black because it's not technically nighttime but I, I I think this is gonna turn out good I'm trying to figure out since I finished the red ear slider I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do next which big one I want to do next or if I want to go on Amazon and buy a couple small ones or something. Um, I'm thinking um, there's a couple, there's one that I don't think I've unboxed yet on the channel. I've had for like a year or, or longer, um, but I don't think I've unboxed it on the channel uh, that I want to do for my bathroom. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe um, we'll open it up and start it together. But we'll see. I do have the red-eared slider framed um, and hanging. It's actually hanging in my living room right now because we don't have... Um, my husband uh, needs to put a nail in the wall um, in the kitchen dining room area where I want it. And we just haven't gotten to it yet. So it's hanging in the living room right now. But I, I just put it in... Uh, the only frame that I had was a big frame and um, so I put it in the big frame with some black um, construction paper behind it so it's got like a black background border um, my husband really likes it so that's good it's funny because he doesn't really get tired of um, the diamond paintings that I have hanging 
up. He likes, he seems to like all of them. And there's my husband now in the front yard. He was mowing in the backyard and now he's mowing in the front yard. So I think that's a good idea. We're at 30 minutes anyway to call it quits for today. So as you can see, let me clear this off. Let me clear this out for you guys. And I will, I could probably zoom in just a tad, just a tad here. We'll zoom in so you can see the building part that I worked on. So I, I put some of the white or the, the very light peach in there. And then, let's see, I have too much stuff on my desk. And then over there, we worked on this building over here. So I think it looks pretty good. I think it's turning out pretty well. And there's the cars and stuff that we did before. I think, I think it looks good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, leave any comments that you would like down below. Tell me how you're doing, what's going on. Um, I'd love to hear from you and yeah, we'll call it a day. So everybody have a great day, great rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.